All right, we're gonna take a look at a little featuring drill that I like to do here. This should be near and dear to your heart because of everything that we're working on together with getting you to get some variation in the leg pressure. Maybe you wanna to speak to that a little bit. Yeah, I think when I started coming into the feature board, it was really hard for me to actually push mm -hmm. into the ground before hitting the feature board. And uh, I was surprised how much distance I was able to get by the end of it. Yeah, exactly. Now you've got that good var variability. And so this is a little clip here. I'm just demonstrating the variability in leg pressure at varying speeds with the same uh, distance outcome so that Linnea can see it more clearly. So this first time through, I'm going to go as slowly as I can, more or less jumping to the, the landing and then as quickly as I can, more or less. So watch that again in slow motion here. When I go slowly, I'm really deliberate about pressing in, really getting a nice arc. When I go quickly, my legs are gonna be a lot more passive. So I'm just gonna let the bike kind of fly up into my arms and legs there. So the bike is just kind of pinging off the log there and coming up pretty quickly there. So we'll take a look back through. All right, so here, pressing in, nice big arc. Landing front wheel, back wheel down the back of the 2x4 or 2x6 there at much higher speed, still getting the same outcome mm -hmm. by being more passive with the legs. So let's just watch that one more time, Andrew, at full speed. So we'll come back through here at full speed and take a look. Nice and slow and nice and fast. Same outcome. This is probably, you know, one of the best things you can do for your trail riding is to really kind of start to understand how much leg pressure you need to put into something in order to go a certain distance. And then by, yeah. by d using a drill like this where you can create a lot of variation in your speed right. while still getting the same outcome, it gives you a lot of skills that you can really use on the trail. Well, this one's cool because there's infinite challenge to it. You can always make your board further out. You can pull it back in. You can mm -hmm. go fast and go slower. And so it ends up being a lot of fun with your friends. When you put this out mm -hmm. in the park, yeah. people just gather. They it is do. so much fun to practice. It is. Drills are a lot of fun, especially with a group. I mean, I, I know you've been doing a lot of your homework with, with groups, and I, I think that really builds stoke. So it's super cool to watch you guys out there doing that. So go out and give this a try. Um, you don't need a lot to do this. You know, it's just a simple little feature board that my mechanic uh, put together. Thanks, Synth. Appreciate that. Um, so, I mean, you know, he just built like a little... Um, I-shaped board and mm -hmm. put it out. There's, I think you even have a video of how to build one. Yeah, and I've used other things too. I've used just a normal, just like, I don't know, two by six mm -hmm. board. I've used pieces of firewood that had a little bit of a slope and were kind of stable. You just don't want it to fall over, or slide out yeah, when exactly. you hit it. Yeah, exactly. As long as it's like safely, safely anchored into the ground, you should be good to go. You can use a speed bump, rock, root, um, kind of anything you can find. Uh, really, really good way to uh, enhance your trail skills with a super, super simple drill. Go give it a shot.